Okay, hello all you crazy people out there. My name is Dragonite and welcome back to Pokemon Heart Gold. Because I have not suffered enough catching legendary Pokemon in the last couple of videos, I'm gonna do another one. So the first time I came through here, um, after I fought the Kimono Girls at the Dance Theater, I was unable to catch Ho-Oh because my team uh, matched up pretty badly against it and I kept whipping the floor with me. And I did not feel like sitting there all day um, chucking like two Pokeballs at it before it managed to party kill me. And um, do I need to repel yet? Why not? and then having to do it all over again. So this time, I'm gonna do it for real. Uh, Ho will respawn after you beat the uh, the Pokemon League if you're unable to catch it. Are you still here? Do you still have anything to say? It was you and the bell. Where? It, it was Ethan with the bell in the burn tower, I guess. Because uh, I don't even know why I, I feel the need to do like proper noun, proper noun and like murder weapon. Whenever somebody brings one up, some one of those terms up because because of the board game clue, which I played once when I was like seven, and it's still come on. I can cross here, can't I? The stupid uh, stupid pillars in the way. There we go. Anyway, I do that a lot, and I don't know why. Uh, I need to figure out how to navigate this, preferably in a way that will uh, save me steps on my repel because I don't feel like going back into the bag constantly and reapplying it. Fortunately, I don't believe hopping over these ledges actually uses a step of repel, so I want to go up here, don't I? I think I do not want to go up here. Hopping over the ledges doesn't use a step of repel, I don't believe, so that's uh, better than nothing. I guess it'll be this ladder. I know it's not the first ladder since when is it since because since when is it ever the first ladder that you go over? And those two ledges are wider than the rest of them in this tower, and I don't know why. It's this one. Right? And then and then the one to the right. And then here, I think. No, that's gonna go down. I screwed something up. Okay, so it's the second fork that I want to take the right on. Right? Right. Good. Excellent. Because we want to go up the tower, not down the tower. Uh, this is where the teleporters start kicking in, and this is where I start to get a little bit lost. And by a little bit lost, I mean a lot lost. Okay. Yeah. Again, I know it's not the first teleporter, because since when would it ever be that easy? But on this, uh, this little skirt around the uh, the pendulum, for example. I don't know where it is. Which one I have to take. Unless I, like, come in one and go out the other. That's always a possibility. Oh, is this the, uh, is this the top already? Okay. Ignore my complaining. That was easier than I thought. Let's see. Ho-ho! -oh! You have returned, I see. You came prepared this time. Do not turn off the power. What will happen if I do? I imagine the save will just get corrupted, right? Because, the, like, half the data will be written and half of it will be completely junk and the game won't know how to interpret that. Alright. Anyway, it's ho time and I'm looking at the uh, the timestamp on my recording for when I actually begin this fight, as opposed to when I start the video. I am at 2 hours, 6 minutes, and 57 seconds. Uh, so that is when I will- that is how long I will measure this fight as being. You are level 45! Uh, you, as well, have some pretty good special defense, so I'm gonna try- I'm gonna chance a discharge. See if I can get this just as lucky as, uh, as I did uh, when I was fighting Suicune and paralyze you. Oh, okay. That actually did less than half. You do have a couple levels on Suicune, but not that many more levels. I guess, uh... What, I want to say Suicune's defenses are around 110 and Ho-Oh's are like 150. Special defense, anyway. So that's probably more of the difference. If I can, uh... Eh... Yes, okay. Perfect. Could not call it more perfectly than that. Sacred Fire! Alright, you have Ancient Power, I remember. Sunny Day, I remember. Sacred Fire, I remember. And what's the last one? I don't remember what the last one is. I got burned. Because Sacred Fire has a 50-50 chance of actually doing that. Um, now, being around about 30 levels stronger, 25, maybe 20 levels stronger than the last time I fought Ho-Oh, I should be able to stand up against this a little bit better than last time. I have 158 Pokeballs now. And I started chucking, chucking them at 2 minutes and 8 seconds into this, uh, into this recording. So, 
if I'm interested in how long it, it takes me to catch and just like Pokeball time alone, that'll be a, uh, that'll be that answer. Okay. Goodbye, Gemini. Oh, no, nope, okay. Hello, Gemini. Uh, Magmortar. I probably should have switched the leftovers over to Magmortar before I started this fight. Because Magmortar is the one who I envision uh, doing most of the, uh, the fighting in here. Because Magmortar cannot be burned. Both Magmortar and Lyra do indeed resist fire, but uh, Lyra can be burned. And that will uh, probably cause more issues than the Sacred Fire itself. <clears throat> Let's see. Next Pokemon. Although I think Sacred Fire only actually has five power points, and you've used it twice. So you can only use it three more times anyway. I hear a telephone. Alright, that's not a telephone that's very important. Uh, hello. Let's see. Awkward silence as I try to listen to what the caller ID is saying. Yeah, Sacred Fire, that's gonna... That's gonna do damage. I don't know how much. Okay, that was about a quarter. Uh, you can actually not kill me with Sacred Fire. I don't think, because you have two uses of it less, uh, left, unless you score a critical hit. And I still don't know what your fourth move is. Um, Ancient Power. Should you use that, that'll be a different story. Extra Sensory is it. Okay. Um, that's a... Uh, I don't really have anybody on my team who, who will take that nicely. Okay, so please go back to using Sacred Fire. Please. Come on, I thought I was going to get lucky. Alright, I, I, I was not going to get lucky. What did I start this battle with? 153 Pokeballs? You have one use of Sacred Fire left. You have one use of Sacred Fire left. Um... I have 153 now. Maybe I started with 158. Yeah, catching you in five Pokeballs would have been uh, astonishing, to say the least. Um, you two took uh, astonishingly long. And I wasn't entirely sure if I was going to get astonishingly lucky in the other direction with you. But apparently not. Okay. And I just said the word astonishingly like three times in the last 20 seconds. Hello. Can you be paralyzed, by the way? Because you haven't done that a lot. Like, at all. Sunny Day failed. Uh, Sunny Day failing is alright by me. See, at least when I fought Mewtwo, you only- Mewtwo only had one attack move, and granted, it was a- it was a strong attacking move, even with Mewtwo's, uh, special- specialization lying in the sp special attack. But, um, you've got three different ways you can kill me, and I don't know if I like that. I think that's your last use of Sacred Fire. Alright, so... Now, it will be, uh, considerably safer to throw out Lyra against this guy. Girl genderless bird of fire and rainbows. Um, and uh, Lyra does still have the leftovers, so maybe that'll work out for me yet. Let's see. Not gonna hit you with anything, although Rock Smash would be not very effective in the slightest. Uh, or at least uh, one half times not very effective, not one quarter times not very effective. This fire doesn't care. Let's see. You're gonna keep using Sunny Day and that's gonna keep failing. Uh, Sunny Day, Ancient Power, and Sacred Fire all have five power points, right? So that's 15 between them, and I think, I think Extra Sensory has 20. So I'll, you'll only have 35 power points plus 25% due to the paralysis before you're, um, let's see, before you're down to struggle, which is uh, a lot less than Mewtwo had. And that's another reason, ah, come on. Another reason I prefer to catch you quicker rather than later. Extra sensory. Alright, that actually didn't do very much damage at all. Thank you, special defense. And, uh... And... I don't actually know why that didn't do as much damage as I, I would have expected it did. Because you're only 10 levels weaker than me. And, uh, ho special attack is decent. I want to say it's about 100... Maybe 90? Maybe the physical attack is a little higher? I think the physical attack is a little higher, hence Sacred Fire. Oh, you do have one more use of that. Do you have 10 power points on Sacred Fire instead of ten, instead of 5? Okay. Well, um, you see, I'm gonna heal that, like, right now. That gets priority over, like, everything else. Um, do I have any regular burn heal? I do not. I just have a couple full heal. 
Okay, maybe I counted wrong, or maybe Sacred Fire just has more power points than I thought. Could look it up, I guess, like right now, while you're paralyzed and uh, while the animations are playing and while you're not getting caught in a Pokeball. And that last battle with Mewtwo, uh, with the uh, the 150 Pokeball attempt little uh, episode, I was seriously considering just like whipping out another console and playing another game while I was waiting. Uh, because that's about how long my attention span is. You have Fire Blast as well. Wait a minute. Fire Blast. Oh, you don't have Ancient Power. Okay. I thought you had Ancient Power. I haven't seen Ancient Power. I guess you don't have Ancient Power. Anyway, Fire Blast also has Fire Power points, so... That doesn't really change the, uh, the duration of this battle. But yeah, my Switch is uh, kind of sitting over there on top of my shelf and staring at me and saying, You really do want to play Octopath, don't you? And I was saying I really do, but that'll be awkward if I end up if I like get into an interesting fight in Octopath and uh, like uh, accidentally don't put any input into the Pokemon game for a minute. So I won't be doing that. All right, Fire Blast. Unless it was Fire Blast that burned me and not uh, Sacred Fire or something like that. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention clearly. Fire Blast has a I think 10% chance of burn. I want to say uh, most fire moves have a 10% chance of burn, burn. Lava Plume has a, uh, what is it, 30% chance, and uh, Sacred Fire has 50. And Willow Wisp obviously has 100%, but we don't count that because it's not a damaging move. Come on, that's like the third time you've you've uh, you've shaken three times. Shaken, shook. I think shaken is the last is the past tense version of of, of the word to shake, the verb to shake. No, maybe it's shook. We'll go with that. Okay, whatever. All right. At 140 Pokeballs, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna do something else. It's always awkward the first like couple minutes when I uh, stop talking and speed up the uh, the battle because I don't want it to end immediately and there just be either like a two second session of uh, speedy time or just an awkward silence, as is prone to happen, which is a little weird. Uh, considering that in any other situation, you would uh, you want you would want the battle to be over sooner. Except in like the first couple turns, of of me not talking, there are other tricks I could use to make it less awkward, but I'd uh, I'd prefer not to because that's work. All right, fire blast. Someone told me, and I've never bothered to look this up if it's true or not, but somebody told me that the symbol that fire blast uh, creates when it lands, the little, like, five-way intersection thing symbol is, uh, is actually the Japanese symbol for fire. I have no idea if that's true or not. I'm probably going to be too lazy to look it up in, in editing. And, um... Yeah, someone just told me that a long time ago. And uh, I haven't forgotten it yet. And there's no real reason. Oh. What am I down to? Yeah, you can keep using extra sensory on me. Um, what am I down to? 140 Pokeballs. Okay. Hello. Go, go enjoy yourself, I guess. But not too much.
could have been worse. I want to say that was a, what, 25 Pokeballs? I was kind of looking at the uh, the counter in the bag to see how many Pokeballs I'd used. Um, that took uh, about 15 minutes of real time as opposed to an hour from you two. Um, mm, I should, because it's the version mascot of this game. Uh, the obvious answer is something like, like Pride or something, because rainbows. I don't know if I'm creative enough to come up with anything else. I'm going to go with that because I don't want to sit here forever. All right, is that the start button? That's the start button. Cool. Okay, I guess, uh, well, an, an hour for 150 Pokeballs from Mewtwo, uh, uh, 15 minutes for, like, 25-ish for, for ho -Oh. Could be worse. Anthony! No kidding. I'm hearing this in his voice. I'm reading it in his voice. Anyway, he wants a rematch. Um, that can, uh, that can wait for another time. I have another, another Heart Gold, Soul Silver, Johto, Legendary Pokemon to chase after. And I'm gonna do that later. For now, as I run out of this burned tower, my name is Dragonite. This has been Pokemon Heart Gold. Finally caught Ho-Oh. Which I uh, may have been putting off for a little while. In the next part, I'm going after Lugia. I hope you all enjoyed that, and I will see you all later.